Greetings from Seed Studio. I am Seth Welding, and today we have a tutorial to show you how to measure distance with our Seedduino board, our base shield for Arduino, our Grow Ultrasonic Ranger, our Grow LCD display, which has an RGB backlight, really cool, and our digital RGB LED flexi strip, which has 30 LEDs over one meter. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the Grove LCD RGB backlight. But before we even touch that, we probably should plug in our base shield into our Seeduino. So line up the pins on one side, and before you push them in, line up the pins on the other side. And then you can waddle back and forth here, squeezing each side slightly, and it will go in. It'll be a nice and snug fit. All right. The next up, we'll plug in our ultrasonic ranger. So we'll take our Grove cable, plug it right in, and then we're going to actually put this right into D7. There we go. Then our backlight, plug in as well. Oops, try to plug it upside down there. And then we'll plug this into one of our I squared C ports or I2C ports. And I keep trying to plug it upside down. There we go. So now this is all hooked up and now we just need to connect it to our computers and we're good to go. Okay, so first things first, go over to the Seed Wiki, wiki.seed.cc. You can scroll down um, over to our Grove sensors and go to the Ultrasonic Ranger page. Has some information, but also has all the downloads you will need. Right here. I suggest right click, save all, you can grab them really quickly or download all the libraries. Make sure you download the example measure and display the distance, as well as example measure distance in the LED display, as those are both what we're going over this video. Once you have those downloaded, you can actually open them up in Arduino. Uh, this is measure the distance in LED display. Oops, wrong one. Minimize that. And we will actually show you how to add a library really quickly. Sketch, include library, add a zip library, and then you can navigate and include one of these libraries. You can also see if you have them already installed down here. All right. So the next uh, option we have is down here. You can actually, uh, in examples, you can download specific examples if you want to play with them a little bit more. Here are the ones we got from custom libraries. In this case, um, we have a little bit of a better, a little bit better demo, so we'll follow here. This is to use the LCD display with the RGB backlight. There is some documentation to help guide you through what's going on. So please feel free to read through, and it'll help you edit it and understand what's happening. Once you are prepared, make sure you select the correct board. You do this through Tools, Board, we'll be using the Cduino, and Port, make sure you connect to the correct port. In this case, we are actually just using uh, no board in my little video here. But you normally will be connected, and it will normally say USB modem 1 um, on the Mac. Hit Verify to make sure that you have all your libraries. And I am done compiling, so it's working good for this board. And then you would hit upload once you connect your board. In this case, I would get an error. But let's see what it looks like when it's on a real board. Alright, so now we have the code on board. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. Here's our RGB backlight. And when we're really close, Closer than 15 centimeters, we go red. 
between 15 and, oh, get the end of my sleeve in the way. Between 15 and 30, we go yellow, and then blue when we're far away. So what's an actual application for this? How about parking your car in a small garage or close to some other wall? This is actually something that a lot of people have problems with, and this is a quick and easy solution. So we'll use this car here to go ahead and test it. All right. So we'll take over here, and as the car comes in towards the wall, you can see it tells us that we're getting close. Go a little further and stop. And that way, you don't hit your wall, and your car is not damaged. So that's a pretty cool application. But let's go over to the LED strip. Okay, so now we've played with that LCD display, let's play with these LEDs. Now, this will be e very easy to unplug because we have our plug and play Grove connectors with our Grove cables. Very easy. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in, but before we do this, I wanna mention that if you buy the LED strips from us, you will have to solder these on yourself. Um, there are a bunch of cool projects you can do with these, and you might want to solder them to something else. But in this case, we just want to use it with our Grove kits. So we'll go ahead and plug this into D3 on our board. Slides right in there. And now, we're good to go. This is going to be very similar to the previous um, guide. However, in this case, I have written a few more comments to explain what's going on. It's a little more complex than the previous set of code, so please read through the comments if you want to understand more. Uh, down here you'll see a large section of code that is almost identical. I break down what it is doing over here in the comments. So feel free to read through, and it will help you actually edit it for your own uses if you want to try something different. Again, make sure you have selected the correct board. Verify it. This one does use both of these um, libraries, so make sure you grab those. Compiling sketch. This is a much larger one, so we'll use a little more in this case. There we go. And then you can upload to the board. And let's see the results. Okay, so I guess now that we have the code on board, we can actually test and see if it works. So, put my hand out here, come in, it should turn on right about here. There we go. Now as I come in closer, you should see it slowly, there we go. And awesome. Sweet. So, that's cool, but let's try it with this bus full of uh, seed residents. As you can see, they're coming in. It's being detected. Oh, there we go, it's working. And they stop before they crash. Alrighty. Well, I guess that actually wraps it up for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Seed Studio, and also visit our community website at seed.cc for more projects and tutorials. But don't forget, that's seed with three E's. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them down below. We do read them. And well, until next time, keep on making. Bye. All right, so that's done. Huh.